there is this n degree polynomial px about which we know certain things the first thing that we know that it's of degree n that's a lot of information the next thing we know is the value of this particular polynomial for some values of x for example for x equal to 0 1 2 up to n we know the values of p of x so let's call this number k we know that p of k is k over k plus 1 this is given information given information quite something because you see you are no you you, you have now have knowledge about the value of the polynomial at n plus 1 points and this is an n degree polynomial so you can hope to know almost anything about this polynomial now we want to understand the value of this polynomial at n plus 1 so what is this this is a question this is a question from uh, an ISI entrance it's also from a Soviet Union Olympiad it's a fun little problem from polynomials and uh, we will see how to solve this but before doing that why don't you pause the video and give it a try on your own it's not very hard actually when you work on polynomials like this on uh, it's it's good to write a general expression for a polynomial p of x which is a naught plus a1 x raised to 1 plus a2 x square up to a n x raised to n so these are coefficients and this tells you the degree of the polynomial so degree of p of x we will construct an auxiliary polynomial and this is a standard strategy for many of the problems like this we call this auxiliary polynomial using this given information so let's cross multiply this k plus 1 so a little side note perhaps k plus 1 into p of k equal to k which means k plus 1 times p of k minus k is 0 so let's use this information to create an auxiliary polynomial which is x plus 1 times p of x minus x let's call this polynomial gx and we know that if we plug in x equals to 0 1 2 up to n in g of x then each of these things will become 0 for these values that's what's given here plugging in k x equals to 0 1 2 up to n makes it 0 so we know the values of g of x for these n plus 1 values these n plus 1 values really the problem is quite like 90 percent done at this point i mean uh, if we have already constructed the auxiliary polynomial and you should be able to finish it off from this point so pause the video now and give it a try on your own okay so g of x is this what is the degree of g of x clearly the degree of p of x is n and you're multiplying that with x plus 1 so now the degree of g of x is n plus 1 so you know that n plus 1 degree polynomial will have n plus 1 roots this is the fundamental theorem of algebra and you already know those n plus 1 roots these are these values 0 1 2 up to n 
These are the n plus 1 values which makes this polynomial 0. So you already know the n plus 1 roots of gx. So we can write gx as some leading coefficient, let's call it c, x minus the first root it's like a factorization x minus the second root up to x minus the nth root or n plus 1th root in this case n plus 1th root so this is c times now what are these first root second root and all of these so this is 0 1 2 up to n this is a factorization so x minus 0, x minus 1, up to x minus n. This is what g of x is, which we know is x plus 1 times p of x minus x. Okay. So at this point, you have like, this is like at the 95% level of the problem. So you can now literally pause the video and finish it off. One final hint, if you are still looking at this, one final hint. Remember, I really want you to solve this problem instead of looking at the entire solution because uh, no one has ever learned any mathematics by looking just at solutions. So take this final hint and give it a try. Plug in x equal to negative 1. Your goal find the value of c this is the goal plug in x equals to negative 1 you will get negative 1 plus 1 times p of x minus negative 1 is equal to c times negative 1 negative 1 minus 1 negative 1 minus 2 up to negative 1 minus n Okay, so this portion is 0 and this is just 1. So 1 equals to c times. So there are n plus 1 negatives. So negative 1 raised to the power n plus 1 times n plus 1 factorial. What is the meaning of this exclamation mark? It's basically... 1 times 2 times up to n plus 1. It's a shorthand way of writing this thing. Okay? Alright. So now what is c then? So c is 1 by n plus 1 factorial. And you can just write. We can just take the negative 1 to the power n plus 1. You can write it here. Doesn't matter. You can write it in the denominator or you can write it in the numerator. So you know the value of c now. So see, you now know the value of p of x or the expression for p of x. Look in the hint in the description for the final answer. So final answer. Look at the link in the description. You should be able to do it at this point. This is at the 99% level of the problem. And if you can find your answer, you can match it up more resources at the link in the description keep on doing great problems and i'll be back with a new video pretty soon